Hi Sagittarius, welcome back. Welcome to any new viewers. I am Simone the Moon Goddess with your reading for August, August career money. Okay, so these are general messages. You take what resonates and you leave the rest. This message, if it doesn't resonate, perhaps this message is not for you. Or if you check your moon rising, your Venus or Jupiter um, signs, videos, those might resonate more. Um, uh, this would be for... Yeah, like I said, career and money for August. I have no idea how it's August already, but hey, here we are. So, um, anybody who's interested in connecting with me for a one-on-one -on -one read, um, live video or pre-recorded videos, you can check all the details in the description box below. Follow me on Instagram, the Moon Goddess Tarot. And if you've not subscribed, subscribe if you are interested in being a part of a free giveaway. The giveaway for a free reading with me, sorry. So Spirit Guides, what messages do you want me to share with Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs? For the month of August, when it comes to their career and money, what are the energies surrounding Sagittarius? What are the energies you want me to share, Spirit Guides, Holy Spirit? Benevolent Ascended Ancestors, Known and Unknown, Ashe, may the messages be for the highest good of all involved with harm to none, Ashe. Spirit guys, where are the messages for Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter? Ashe. Spirit guys, what are the messages you want me to share with Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter for their career and money in the month of August? Spirit guys, higher self, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Ashe, Sagittarius. Wow, this is big. For the first card to be out, the Empress. Yes, yes, yes. So Sagittarius, I get the feeling that y'all feeling yourselves. Y'all feel good. Y'all feel secure. Y'all like, attracting that money. I feel y'all being confident, assured, um, and if you're not, this is the energy coming in, so get ready for this. Um, there's abundance here, prosperity, there's connecting to the earth, this is, the Empress is connected to Venus, Venus energy, Venus rules Taurus and Libra, so Venus also rules money, aside from love, Venus also deals with money, beautiful things, you know, lux luxurious living, that type of vibe. Bottom of the deck is death reversed. So Sagittarius, I feel like in order for you to embody your full, excuse me, it's a bit hot today. So the fan is coming out. Um, I feel like in order for you to fully embody your empress, and this could be male or female, okay? This is just energy. Um, there are some levels, some aspects within yourself maybe, or situations that you need to let go of that needs to die away transform in some way um top of the deck is the world whoa sagittarius y'all full of like major cards here this is like this could be uh something coming full circle this could be um travel traveling the world f living the world <clears throat> excuse me this is associated with saturn maybe something coming full circle for you so you got the world and the empress that's major, major energies here. Actually, all three of your cards are major cards so far. So you're all on a major spiritual um, awakening here. This is massive. This is possibly eclipse energies coming through. This death card here as well. This is Scorpio energy. So you've got Scorpio. You have poss possibly um, Saturn, so possibly Capricorn, possibly Taurus or Libra. Sorry, I just need to clean my camera. Okay, I think that's better. Let's see what's going down the heart of the matter. Okay, nine of staffs. Okay, so not so bad. I get the feeling that Sagittarius, I feel like y'all preparing, there's a sense of preparing yourself for the worst. And when you do that, you are then drawing in that energy. Exactly, it's like a self-perpetuating, a self-fulfilling prophecy. You expect the worst, you get the worst, right? So I feel like there's a need for you to let down your guard there's a need for you also for those who are ready making plans to like move forward 
because I get this feeling like if you look he's like it's almost like he's ready to make a move to make some kind of move um what's stopping you what's stopping you also you have a lot of three energy here you have three which is the empress 21 which is the world so that's three and the death card is card number 13 so in the Sagittarius, you're getting a lot of threes coming. And then nine is obviously three, six, nine um, coming through there for you as well. Okay, let's clarify. Spirit guys, assist me in clarifying these cards for Sagittarius when it comes to their money. Sagittarius, when it comes to their money, Spirit guys, career and money, what the messages you want me to share with Sagittarius? Sagittarius, what's the messages you want me to share with Sagittarius spirit guys? Make it nice and clear. Spirit guides. Okay. One more shuffle. One more shuffle. One more shuffle. Okay. Spirit guys, why is the Empress card here for Sagittarius for their money and career in August? Okay. Another major card, the hangman reversed. So, hmm. I feel like y'all don't want to sit in the process. Y'all don't want to, there's a sense of rushing things maybe. Seven of pentacles here. Also, yeah, like you're here wondering when is, all this energy I'm putting out going to come back to me. There's this nine of wands here. Yeah, again, it's here for you. Nine of staff. So it's here twice. A sense of, um, yeah, preparing yourself for the worst for whatever reason. Why is the hangman here for, for Sagittarius spirit guides? To make it nice and clear. Why is the empress here? Why is the hangman here, spirit guides? For office. For Sagittarius. Thank you. All right, so you'll have Page of Cups reversed and Eight of Swords. So yeah, I feel like y'all, in your minds, y'all, in your head, um, I feel like you can embody this Empress energy. Um, maybe y'all feel really inspired, feel really grounded, feel like, you know, money's flowing or your business is booming, etc. But there's also a sense of protecting yourself from something. There's a sense of... I feel like there's a need to change your perspective about something, but you might be trying to avoid it. You might be avoiding like this page of cups energy. It could be a person, but I feel like it's the universe offering you something. But you don't... Your perspective on it makes you feel like it's a negative thing as opposed to a gift. And there's a sense of you feeling trapped within this energy. Which is interesting. I mean, your empress is upright. I don't know. I just heard mother. Mother. Okay. So with this page of cups reverse. Because the empress energy could be about a mother. It could be about... Um, pregnant with life pregnant pregnant with life as in a baby pregnant with life as in all the abundance and prosperity around you right this empress energy um and this page of cuts energy gives me that energy to our uh, pregnancy um again pregnant not just with baby but pregnant with life fertility blooming blossoming type of vibe um Maybe some of you are finding it hard balancing those two energies. You know, being the mother and being the career woman or being the father and being a career man. Um, and it has you feeling stuck or feeling blocked. Or as if you're not giving enough. Trapped in a sense. Um, okay. Okay, that's interesting. Well, that made so much sense. Queen of Pentacles is there at the bottom of the deck, which is exactly that. That work, play, balance, not even work, but work, balancing career and home, balancing being a mother and being a, a career woman or being a father and a career man, that type of vibe. And this energy is right here, Queen of Pentacles, and it's reverse. So, okay, maybe that's the energy coming through for, the, for you guys, for some of you trying to find a balance between being all that you can be for yourself and for others.
for those who aren't who don't have families or who are single um again it, it could be a sense of you feeling as if you have to give up nurturing yourself or taking a time out and enjoying life it's like it's either you work crazily or you have a good time and maybe there's a, a part of you that feels like you can't do both you know hmm why is this death card here for Sagittarius spirit guys why is this death card here thank you knight of swords so maybe you want the transformation but you want the transformation to happen really fast you don't want to go through the process you don't want to go through the steps four of wands reverse here bottom of the deck um maybe again it's you thinking that in order for you to be empress it means that you have to work 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 hustle 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 when really and truly what you need to do is to align nine of swords here so lots of worry late nights up worrying and wondering how you can make ends meet possibly but you're the empress so i'm not quite understanding why you're stress okay let's see why is the world another major card justice wow sagittarius you are loaded with major cards here so to clarify your world card it's justice all right so whatever is coming to you now you feeling like the empress you feeling like you're on top of the world you feeling like all your ships are coming in it's balanced it's justified it's um winning you know you put out energy and it's coming back to you in the form of prosperity or success or recognition maybe a promotion and i feel like whatever is coming full circle or coming to life i get a sense of freedom as well there's a real sense of freedom with sagittarius and whatever is coming all of that is allowing you to feel clearing your mind balance with your emotions you know where you're going there's also a sense, the real sense of freedom, like maybe y'all looking to travel the world or um, just do things that are outside of your comfort zone or outside of your, what you thought was possible for you. Nine of Swords here, yet again, the Fool under that and the Ace of Wands is here. So, okay, I feel too like for some of you, that part of your abundance means that you have to cut off, not necessarily cut off yourself, maybe you're all traveling. Maybe part of your abundance and prosperity is traveling to a new job, leaving familiar, leaving your friends and family in order to, so to seek out this Empress energy. And you kind of back and forth with it because it means that you, it's like you having to break your own heart in order to pursue your own passions and dreams. And it's a bit bittersweet here, I feel. This death card reversed. You not wanting, you wanting to like pursue a new life. Um, maybe pursue this new opportunity. But at the same time, again, it means you having to uproot yourself and leave what's familiar in some way. And that has you feeling back and forth. Because this night of source could also be about travel. So you have travel here from the world travel knight of swords is here as well um i get a sense of bittersweet i get a sense of you feeling yourself feeling accomplished and feeling uh, like you know like life is really beautiful but there's a bittersweet feeling here as well why is this nine of staffs here for sagittarius when it comes to their money in august spirit guide why is the nine of staffs here for sagittarius Temperance reverse. Now this showed up for Libra. It's interesting. Um, yeah, this nine of staffs and temperance reversed. Like you might be protecting yourself from nothing. You might be preparing yourself for battle when there's nothing there. 
this is your energy as well, Sagittarius. This is temperance is associated with Sagittarius right now and it's reversed. So you've got death, the world, temperance, the empress, the hanged man, and yeah, death, temperance, the world, justice, the empress, the hanged man. All of those major cards, y'all going through a major transformation with your money in August. 100%. Um, what you need though is to find a way to balance your thought process and also to balance your um your strategies maybe maybe um and also let life happen let life happen like y'all generally are happy-go-lucky Cliche, stereotypically, Sagittarius, happy-go-lucky, spontaneous, adventurous type of vibes. But here, for whatever reason, I feel like there's a something holding you back. What's, what, what else? Why is this Nine of Staffs here? What, any other energies regarding this Nine of Staffs? For Sagittarius, Spirit Guides? Okay. Three of Cups reversed. So maybe... Because you got temperance reverse and three of cups reverse. And temperance is about tempering um, your actions, tempering your patterns. If you're drinking too much, you need to temper it. Maybe um, disassociating with drugs or sex or whatever. Um, it's about bringing balance into your life, right? Healing energies. Temperance comes after the death card. So after the death, now you know what you've been through and you are transitioning into something new. So it's about how are you going to learn from what's died away in order to to shine and be the best as you move forward. And right now that's reversed. So there's some aspects, and the death card here says it, there's some aspects of you that need to die, that you're still holding on to in some way, that are blocking you, all right? That have you feeling that you need to protect yourself or um, to be defensive or or even... For some of you, it's like y'all ready to make that decision to embody all of the empress, to embody all of the world and justice, but there's still something holding you back. And then you have this three of cups energy here reversed. All right. So I don't know if it's friends, possibly like bad habits, like too much drinking, too much partying, too much socializing. There's too much of something. There's too much of something here. Wow. The world is here again. You have the world twice here, Sagittarius. That's crazy. Six of Cups, Judgment. <laughs> Why is this Three of Cups here for Sagittarius, Spirit Guides? The Hierophant. Another major card. Right. <clears throat> so... Yeah, I get the feeling like some of you need to get more um, serious, more structured, more organized, more. Um, it's like following the rules by the book. I get I hear the word by the book, by the book, do things by the book. Also, when you feel like you don't know exactly which way to go, like you need to find a way to connect to your spirituality. Um, I feel like there needs to be a balance between your spiritual and your mundane, your material world as well. This four of wands is here, yeah, again, reversed. Uh, under that is the two of wands reversed. Hmm. Think you need to get more clear in how you, oh, how you're going to go about this. What's the word of advice for Sagittarius for career and money spirit guys in August? What's your word of advice? What's your word of advice for Sagittarius spirit guys? Thank you. Wow. Yes. Ten of Swords. There's something, and I said it here with this death card reverse. There's something that you are holding on to that is not serving your highest anymore. Like you've bled out of this situation enough. You've mourned this situation. You know, there's nothing else to get from the situation. So like you're trying to squeeze water from a rock type of vibe. I mean, 
as much as this person has 10 swords in the back, if you see in the background, the clouds, the dark sky is actually starting to like dissipate and the sun is coming up. So it means that after this, after you let go of whatever has you pinned down in your mind, it means then that all of this other energy can flow to you easily. You got three of pentacles here. Um, which is about collaborations. Get that energy coming through strong for quite a few signs for August. That collaboration is part of the success for whatever your vision is. Any other word of advice for Sagittarius for August? Spirit guys, any other message for Sagittarius for August? When it comes to money and career, any other message? Wow, okay, and I just said collaboration. Two of cups. Two of cups. So, Sagittarius, as I was saying to you, um, okay, maybe that's what that is as well. That sense of defense, that sense of this three of cups, some sort of disharmony. Okay, maybe there was some sort of collaboration that you've been in and you, it can take you forward, you feel, but there's some kind of something you don't trust within this collaboration. Maybe somebody at work, somebody at school, somebody in this three of cups, you don't quite get their energy or they make you feel out of balance or you don't trust it. It's somebody within an establishment in your life. Um, but their word of advice is to let this go and let this energy come through. Like maybe a past situation has you not wanting to connect with somebody else as far as collaboration maybe a part of you maybe somebody who's coming into your life in a, in a love situation is going to be your next step as far as collaborating or your next step as far as success but the energies are asking you to pour into somebody else's cup and they want to pour into yours and it's interesting because you have page of cups here for energy reversed it's like you didn't want to take this cup. You didn't want what this person had to offer. But I feel like it was based on you having fears and defenses being up. Maybe because of a past situation that didn't quite work out. Some energy you don't trust really. I don't know if it's somebody. I don't know if it's the Empress. I keep hearing mother. I don't know if it's uh, your mother maybe. Maybe some of you are getting an opportunity to work abroad and you feel like you don't want to leave your mother. Your mother might be dis dis dissuading you or mother energy might be dissuading you from going. And you don't know which way to go. Hmm. What's this two of cups energy for Sagittarius for career and money? Spirit guys, what's this two of cups energy for career and money for Sagittarius? For August, thank you. Four of Swords. All right, so whatever it is, is something that you need to think about. Whatever this connection is with the Two of Cups energy, this could be Scorpio, Pisces, um, Cancer energy. Cancer is the mother of the Zodiac, so that's mother connection then, there again. Whatever decision you need to make as you move ahead, when it comes to this two of cups energy, spirit is asking you to take a time out, to take a break from everything. Maybe this is this four of cups is four swords, sorry, is about you being patient because you got this knight of swords with you wanting to rush through this transformation that you're going through. And you can't. You have to go through things have to fall into place as they will. Maybe the spirit is asking you to embody this four swords energy, to just chill. You know, take a chill pill, let things happen. And trust that beautiful things are coming. Because look at this beautiful window, right? But there's a strong collaborative energy here. So I don't know if this is a lover, a friend, uh, a new person coming in. But there's an opportunity for you to make some serious prosperity here through a strong connection. All right? This isn't just love. This could be business. This could be building together. What's any potential blockages for Sagittarius in August for their money? Any potential blockages? 
obstacles or blockages as they go through August. Spirit guides, Holy Spirit, any message for... Thank you. Right. Blockages, five of pentacles reverse or obstacles, five of pentacles reverse. Like, um, that's you coming out of the cold. So I don't know how that would be a blockage or obstacle. Maybe you feel like that won't ever happen. Maybe you feel as if all of this empress energy, all the beautiful things coming to you, all the justice that's being served to you, you may be traveling or all these beautiful opportunities coming open for opening up for you in August. Maybe there's a part of you that is holding your breath, expecting the worst to happen. Maybe that's what that five of um, pentacles is about. You got ten of pentacles at the bottom here. So, I mean, look at all in pentacles. Hello. This is legacy this is money this is building this is solid foundations this is you drawing in attracting 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 so you need to get your head in the game Sagittarius and stop creating scenarios that aren't there all right a lot of your cards are major cards which means that a lot of the transformation going on with your money is on a major spiritual level any possible final outcome for Sagittarius for August and money What's the final outcome for Sagittarius in August for money, spirit guides? Holy Spirit, thank you. Eight of Wands reversed. All right, so in August, you might find that you things start to slow down or you might be feeling frustrated. You might be feeling blocked in some way. Um, Eight of Wands can be about travel as well. Maybe you'll have delays with your travel situation. For some reason, but something feels as if it's slowing down. There's the three of swords here reverse. So again, as I will remind you, I feel like this energy with this nine of stars, you feeling defensive. It's based on past experiences that you need to release because you might be blocking new energies from coming in. You might be blocking this empress energy from flowing in and it's upright. So it's there. It's there. It's there for you. So don't let your past hold you back. And it's really cool because now you have death and it's upright. All right, and under that is a tower. So the tower card, you know, it doesn't have to be something horrible. It could be something abrupt change, uh, abrupt change, sudden change, but sudden change could be a beautiful thing. Queen of Pentacles, top of the deck. Okay. I think that's, let me actually, hold on, hold on. Let me pull another card for you. Give me one more message for Sagittarius spirit guys to wrap up this reading. One more message for Sagittarius. What do you want Sagittarius to know regarding their money in August? Money in August for Sagittarius spirit guys. Spirit with a message. One last. Thank you. Oh, two. Okay, so the first one is Wheel of Fortune. All right. So again, a major card. See the wheel, the wheel is always turning, life is always turning, life is ups and downs, turning around, left, right, up, down, whatever, right? It's always turning. But here you are worrying, worrying, and you're the empress. That's the part. You are the empress. Stop the worrying. Embody all of you, this queen of wands energy. Embody all of who you are, Sagittarius. Step into the light, be confident. Um, embrace your new life, embrace the change. Stop worrying, change your perspective on things as well and see how that goes for you. Because I see beautiful energies for Sagittarius in August for money. But for some reason, I feel like Sagittarius is in their mind. There's a lot of swords here. And um, a sense of defense, a sense of wanting to rush the process. And a sense of um, going back and forth in your mind about this for some reason. What's the messages you want me to share with Sagittarius Spirit Guides? By yourself, Avalanche Sunday Ancestors, Holy Spirit. What's the message you want me to share with Sagittarius? To go with the cards already laid out for August money, career money. What do you want me to share with Sagittarius Spirit Guides? Guardian Angel, Holy Spirit Guides. Holy Spirit, what's the message you want to share with Sagittarius? Okay. What's the message you want me to share with Sagittarius for money? Career and money, Sagittarius. Um, spirit guides. What's 
the message you want me to share with Sagittarius for money, Spirit Guides. Thank you. It says the end of a tough cycle is, approaches. Yeah. So hopefully that will then help you to realize you're the Empress. I keep reminding you, this is the first card out. Oh, the first card is the most powerful card. And here is the Empress for you. A time rather to give than to take, it says. Hmm, interesting. That might not be for everybody. Don't let pride get in your way. And a time for healing. All right, so Sagittarius, those are your messages regarding money when it, in, in August, sorry, money in August. If the messages have resonated, drop a comment below, like the video, share it, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Oh my God, sorry. I hope this wasn't too noisy, but I got stuff. And until next video, Sagittarius, big love to you. Bye-bye.